I think your son saw a Wendigo. They're normally described as having horns. Also, I just want to say thank you so much for like believing your son and not making him feel crazy. That's what I think though. Watch this video that you tagged me in guys. Let me know what you think in the comments and the original creator is tagged below. When my son told me this story, it totally freaked me out. He used to wake up in the middle of the night for some reason, and sometimes the only way he'd be able to fall back asleep was on the couch in the living room. I have no idea why. It didn't happen very often, but it did happen a couple times a month, and eventually he did grow out of it. So one morning I woke up and I went out into the living room and saw him sleeping there on the couch, which wasn't a huge shock, except this morning he was extra tired. So I asked him how his night went, and he just said, not good. And when I asked him why, he said it was because he saw a monster outside the window that night. So, I mean, of course he's a kid, so I don't know. I didn't necessarily believe him, but I didn't necessarily not believe him. I wanted to hear a little bit more. So I asked him to explain to me what he saw. And he said when he looked out the kitchen window to the sidewalk across the street, he saw what he thought was a man standing there, except the man was dressed in all in black and he couldn't see his face, but all he could see was that the man had like deer horns, like deer horns coming out of his head, which sounds pretty crazy. It, it's the middle of the night and he's young. And I don't know, people are weird. Maybe there was a guy out there in the middle of the night in a deer costume, I have no idea. So our house is not very big and it's a split level. So when you walk in the front door, you have stairs going upstairs and you have stairs going downstairs. Our rooms are upstairs. So he was out in the living room on the upper level. So I asked him, did you see somebody standing like outside our patio window or was this outside the kitchen window that looks down to the street? Excuse my crappy drawing, but I thought it might help to get a visual. Like, so this is the front door. When you come in the front door, you can go downstairs or you can go upstairs. We are upstairs. This is the couch that he falls asleep on. So when he's on the couch, he can see out the sliding glass door in the kitchen that goes out to the deck. But this kitchen window right here is the one he was looking out. And this looks down to the street. And across the street on the corner, this is where he saw the deer man thing uh, would be on this corner looking up into the window. So I kind of shrugged it off. Again, he's young, it's kind of a crazy story, and it was the middle of the night, he was probably super tired. So I tried to be supportive and just say, you know what, sometimes when we're tired, we see things that are not really there. Maybe it was a dream you were having, but he was pretty adamant that this was not a dream. He was wide awake and that's what he saw. And that was kind of the end of it until almost two years later. By this time, he had kind of grown out of that phase of waking up in the middle of the night and then falling asleep on the couch. So when I woke up one morning and came out into the living room and saw him on the couch, I was kind of like, wow, this hasn't happened for a while. But I asked him, how, how was your night? Why did you end up sleeping on the couch? And he said, well, I woke up in the middle of the night again and I couldn't fall back asleep. But then he says to me, he saw the craziest thing last night. So I inquired, what did you see? And then he proceeds to tell me the exact same story that he had told me two years earlier almost word for word. He got up in the middle of the night. He couldn't fall back asleep. So he went out into the kitchen to get something. And as he was in the kitchen, he looks out the kitchen window and sees this deer man standing at the corner of the street, looking up at the house. So I was a little freaked out. And I was like, D are you sure? Was this like a real person? And he goes, no, I was scared. He's like, I was actually really scared. And this thing was looking at me. And he knew it. He was sure that this thing was looking at him, but it didn't move. And he said they kind of just stared at each other for a couple minutes. And then eventually he said he just got this like really calm feeling, felt really tired, and then went and fell asleep on the couch. And he has not brought it up again. And he's not somebody that makes up stories. Well, I mean, ghost stories. He doesn't make up, he, he's a kid, he makes up all kinds of stories, but he doesn't make up ghost stories or doesn't make up like he's seeing things or that things are under his bed. But I was more freaked out at how genuine he was. Like, this was really upsetting to him. And he was very clear in how he felt in that moment and how this thing made him feel. But I don't know what he saw and he's never mentioned it again. I don't know, what do you think he saw?